So the next specific type of industry that I want to look at that has some special rules related to it as far as bailments go are common carriers. Okay, so we need to start off with um, defining what a carrier is and then also what a common carrier is. Now a carrier is a business that transports persons, goods, or both. Okay, now a common carrier, this is a carrier that's compensated for transporting the general public. All right, so a carrier. That could be, you know, the post office is a type of carrier, okay? They transport items, okay, particular packages, whatever it might be, all sorts of items from one place to another, okay? They're not a common carrier. They, they don't transport the general public, okay? You can't just go get a ticket to be transported from one place to another um, by the United States Postal Service, okay? What can you buy a ticket for? Well, an airplane, okay? Trains. Um, buses, those would be examples of common carriers. Those are available to the general public to buy a ticket, okay, uh, from one place to another. So a carrier, they transport persons, goods, or both, but not the general public, okay? They're moving things from one place to another. The common carrier, they get compensated for transporting um, the general public from one place to another. All right, so like we said, the common carriers, they transport, transport the general public from one place to another, okay? They get compensated for it, they get paid for it. Okay, when you get onto a plane, for an example, or if you get onto a train, or if you get onto a bus, a lot of times you bring with you baggage, okay? Luggage, that's your personal property. The common carriers, they're liable for the damages, they're responsible for it, okay? To all goods they ship, okay? Regardless of whether they are negligent, except okay now there's three exceptions here if there's an act of god so if there's a natural disaster that causes the common carrier to damage the personal property that they're shipping that's outside of their control and they're not going to be responsible for it okay acts of terrorism or war so if a plane uh it, that is operating by a common carrier gets shot down as an act of terrorism or an act of war then they're not going to be liable for the damages Okay, public authorities, meaning the government. If the government steps in and says to the common carrier, you can't deliver that, or we're taking these items off this plane, that's outside the common carrier's control. They're not going to be liable for any sorts of damages um, imposed upon the, the personal property in those exceptions. But generally speaking, they are liable for the damages to any goods that they ship. All right, some other responsibilities for these common carriers. They need to accept all goods, okay? So if you want to ship something through a common carrier like FedEx or UPS, um, they pretty much have to take it unless there are a few exceptions, okay? The goods, they're not equipped to carry. So if you're trying to ship something that they're, they don't, they can't carry it, they can't get it onto a plane or onto a bus or whatever it is that they're using to ship, if they can't carry it, then they don't have to take it. So if you're trying to ship, you know, maybe a wild animal from one country to another and they like, you know, maybe you're a zoo and you're trying to get an elephant from Africa to the United States, UPS or FedEx, maybe they simply don't have the equipment to make that happen. You would need to figure something out. If they can't carry it, then they don't have to accept that shipment. Okay, maybe it's inherently dangerous item or good. Okay, so you know maybe if they're you're trying to transport explosives, well that's a very dangerous item to, to transport, so they don't have to accept that type of item. All right, improperly packaged goods. So say you're trying to send um, Omaha steaks, okay, prepackaged meat, and you don't have it in a airtight freezer. Uh, uh, freezer uh, packaging where the meat would go bad, you know, that would be improperly packaged goods. They can look at that and they say, no, we're not shipping that because the meat is going to spoil and it could contaminate other packages. That's improperly packaged goods. We're not going to take that. So generally speaking, the common carriers, ha they have to accept all goods that want to be uh, shipped by people unless, you know, they fall into these types of exceptions. Okay, so what happens if you don't pay your bill to the common carrier? The carrier can or will sell your stuff at public sale to get their money. So if you tried to ship something through them, you didn't pay the bill, guess what? They can take that property and they can sell it at a public sale to the general public for whatever money they can get to pay off your bill. Okay, that is their right in these um, types of transactions. 
All right, so passenger carriers. These are where people are getting onto the planes, the trains, the buses, the taxis, okay? So the passenger carriers, they're responsible for protecting their passengers, right? One of the things that um, these passenger carriers will use is security screenings to make sure that they're not allowing people that are dangerous onto a plane or a train or a bus, okay, to protect the other passengers. So if somebody refuses that security screening at the airport or the train station, then the, the passenger carrier can say to them, look, if you're not willing to comply, then we do, we're do we refusing to offer you service. Okay, the passenger carriers, they're not responsible for unpreventable injuries. Okay, so, you know, this is sort of unforeseen or unpredictable incidents. So if a plane crashes, that's unforeseen. It's not like they planned on the plane crashing when they took off. Um, as long as, you know, the appropriate safety checks were done, and something happened, you know, maybe it was, you know, an act of nature, an act of God, that's unpreventable, really. So you do take, you bear certain um, risks when you get on to passenger carriers. Okay, generally speaking, though, they have to protect their passengers, but they're not going to be responsible for the unpreventable or the unforeseeable injuries that are, you know, just a part of life. All right, so a, a final couple points about the passenger carriers, okay? The carriers must accept a reasonable amount of baggage. Now, what's reasonable is going to depend carrier to carrier. Okay, the passengers may be able to ship extra baggage for a fee. So if you go above and beyond that reasonable amount of baggage, then the common carrier, or the, excuse me, the passenger carrier is gonna say, look, we'll ship it for you, but it's gonna cost you more. Okay, weapons, explosives, or destructive items may be prohibited by the passenger carriers, and that sort of makes sense. They, they have to provide protection to all the passengers, having those items on the, the plane or the bus, you know, that creates additional risk. Okay, the maximum airline baggage liability is $2,500 per passenger. So what that means is the airline is, we're just going to use the example of an airline, but it would apply to trains and buses as well. They're going to be responsible for making sure that your baggage, you know, gets to where you need it to be and that it arrives safely, undamaged. Okay, but they're only going to be responsible for up to $2,500 per passenger. Okay, so if you're traveling with items in your baggage that is more than $2,500, then you'll want to take out additional insurance on that baggage because the airline, they're only going to pay up to $2,500. Okay, carriers may assume no liability for fragile or perishable items. Okay, so if you're trying to you know, put in your bag a porcelain tea set, very fragile, they're not responsible for that. If you're trying to ship, you know, food that's perishable, like we, I used the example of meat earlier, okay, or vegetables, something like that, where it can expire and go bad, they're not going to take liability for that, okay? You understand that when you put something like that into your bag, that there is a risk that it's not going to arrive, you know, the way that it was when you left. All right. So those are some additional things to consider for passenger carriers.